Well, I've got that whoosh on KG16 out. I wanted to demonstrate a couple of facets of why it remains to be such a popular piece of kit amongst mountaineers, guides, and AT skiers, and so on. And that is the flexibility that is afforded by being able to use this AAA cell pack, which is on the left, over the sealed lithium ion pack that's on the right. And um, the advantage is twofold. It's flexibility in carrying other devices with you that are AAA cell format and weight. So we'll start out here and demonstrate the weight advantage. 58 grams on the AAA cell pack as opposed to 86 grams for the sealed lithium ion pack. The triple A cell pack is taking advantage here of those two triple A cell format 10440 lithium ion cells that are 600 milliamps and each one puts out 4.2 volts. So in series when they're fully charged they are 8.4 volts and their nominal voltage is 3.6. The radio shuts off which protects those cells at the minimum threshold voltage which is around 7.2 volts. So that's a good thing. The four yellow cells are dummy cells. Now you'll notice that one of the things you want to be sure of when you're out and about and you're using a AAA cell pack, if you put rechargeable cells like nickel metal hydride and a loops in it, you will not get a full five watts of transmit power. However, with this pack, and we have used it, you'll see it's coming in, Channel mode two. coming in at eight volts, and we've already used it to turn on the headlamp. And when we use the standard lithium ion pack with a full charge on it, you'll see that it is also coming in. Channel mode two at 8 volts. So at 600 milliamps you're not going to last as long but I found on testing with the FM radio going full-time I've been able to get somewhere between oh, four to six hours at times with that AAA cell pack. So you've started out and you're carrying your AAA cell pack with you and here's some of the other ways that it becomes useful is if you're carrying a headlamp with you and by the way um, this is the spark headlamp and if I carry that with me empty we're looking at with the tail cap 74 grams on there now I have the flexibility of taking my cells out of the AAA cell pack and putting them here. It doesn't matter which way the dummy goes. And if night befalls me, I don't need my radio, but I do need my headlamp unexpectedly. I can use this headlamp which has ample lumen count and one of the things of course about the sparks that I like so much is not only the high lumen count also the neutral white tint which is very good for uh, assessing patient factors such as uh, cyanosis cap refill and um, those sorts of things, seeing body fluids on the snowpack when you're searching in avalanche debris. Uh, I also like the fact that I can mag mount this by screwing this magnet into it. And I can mount it on a tripod by putting this tripod mount in the end. And I can also unscrew the flood lens and screw a spot lens in that throws quite a bit further on a tighter beam than the flood lens. And then if I need to put it on my head, I stick it in the headband. So 
all that. And again, the battery form factor is why that comes in handy. And then, if you're using your tracker, you have the option if uh, you want to carry your radio with no batteries in it, you could just put two lithium primary cells, such as the Energizer AAA cells, into the battery pack and leave the other three out. And then if you need to, you can rob your um, tracker here. You could take those three primary cells out of there. So overall, the 816 is worthy of consideration for those reasons of the AAA cell pack, giving it all that added extra flexibility in terms of what you may encounter on multi-day trips where weight is a big factor for what you're going to be doing. Mr. Destiny, would you like to explain what you're doing right now? God only knows. <laughs> <laughs>